Hi, my name is Bruce, and I'd like to show off the changes that I've made to my Summoner Save File Editor. The previous version was 1.5, the current version is now 2.0. There's been a lot of changes, most especially to the Character Editor. You can now edit your characters without having to put a lot of additional input in. Uh, so let me launch Summoner, and I'll show how it works. So I have no save files, so I'm going to go ahead and start one. And we're going to skip the cinematics. But the one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so here's a brand new file. Joseph is level 1, he has no experience, 64 hit points, 20 AP points, and no skill points. So we. Oh, and his gold 30 gold and 3 health tonics. So let's save this. Must save file. Save. Close. All right, now let's launch my save file editor. So the first thing you want to do in the save file editor is you want to open the save file. And depending on where you installed it on your computer, you need to browse to the folder. So for me, it's on the D drive, program files, summoner, save game. So here's the saves. I've only got one. I'm gonna open that up. So Joseph, who is the only character in my party, is now editable. Fleece, Rosalind, and Jekar, who are not in my party, are not editable. Over here it shows your inventory, I've got 3 health tonics, and over here it shows the gold, 30 gold. This is a list of every item in the game, including quest items and debug items, and you can insert them directly into your inventory, and as well as affect the quantity of them. So let's go ahead and show this off, I'm going to make uh, Joseph level 2, experience will be 3, skill points will be 4, hit points will be 65, and AP will be 26. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Gold, I'm going to make. Well, hell. Give me a 27. Or 777. Seven, seven. Just something with a 7. And health tonics, I'm going to make 8 of them. Apply. And I'm going to add 9 anti magus rings to my inventory. Alright, so I'm going to apply these changes. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's see if that worked. I'm gonna close it. Relaunch Summoner. Load my save game. So let's see. Immediately I see that I have eight health tonics and nine anti magus rings and seven 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 gold, so that worked. Let's check out my stats. Level two, experience three. Skill points 4. That was everything. Oh, hit points are 65 and AP is 26. So everything that I edited on him is now edited. It worked. So now I'm going to show how it works when you have multiple people. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of those files from my personal folder. And I always recommend if you're going to use this program, please back up your save files first. I haven't had a lot of accidents, but I have had accidents with these things, so always just make a quick backup. So I'm going to paste in a file that has a full party, and I'm going to show that file before I edit it. So let's see here. Full party. So here we have Fleece, Rosalind, Jacker, Joseph with various stats, various amounts of skill points too, I think. No. Inventory, 60,000 gold, lots of gear in here, especially healing droughts, but most of everything else is one. So we're going to edit the shit out of this. Hold on, kitty cat, I'm a little busy. You always wait, you always wait till I'm recording. I'll fix your dinner in a minute, goddammit! Alright, so, open the file, open the latest one. So now you see Joseph, Fleece, Rosen, and Jekker are now all editable. And the inventory is full. As you see, there's those 16 healing droughts. And I still have my 60,000 gold. So I'm going to show you how to max things out now. So if you see a particular category of something you want to max out, you can hit the max button for that. For instance, Joseph's here, his level's 14. Well, let's max out his level. Max. And it maxed the level. If you want to max out a character entirely, you can just hit max the name of the character and it'll max him out. So I'm going to go ahead and max out everybody. And I'm going to make all my items 999. 
So now they should all be 999. And they are. I'm going to max my gold out to 2 billion. And I'm going to apply. So I've basically just broken this game. I've maxed out the characters entirely. 999 of everything, including quest items. And 2 billion gold. So let's see if it worked. I think I hit apply, just in case I'll do it again. Can't remember. Alright, let's launch the game. Alright, so... Fleece, level 50. Max experience. Hit points so much you can't even see it all. It's behind the health bar. Same with the AP. Uh, skill points, 160. Now she has all her skills available to her, so if you wanted to, you could just start maxing everything out. I'm not going to do that, just showing that you can. And it's the same for all of them. And if we look at their inventory, 2 billion gold and 999 of every item in the game. In fact, I think there are some debug items in here too. Let's see, info. Nice. Alright, so that is my summoner save file editor. Please remember if you're going to use this to back up your saves first. If you use this program and you do find that there's a problem with it, please either take a screenshot or send me the save file because I would love to, you know, improve on my program. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to add more features to it, but it uh, it's very tempting. I might add a feature that nerfs enemy hit points, and I might add a feature that affects the summons, and I might add a feature that lets you equip gear directly to your characters, but I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. For now, version 2.0 is out. It's stable. Please, please use it, but if you do, use it responsibly. Have a nice night.